in a second. Let me get rid of this. All right, so as I said, like looking at this guy right here, this is the guy I'm going to be working on. All right, and I can see down here that there's no shadow by his foot, right? I'm just sort of stuck in there and I look sort of goofy. So what I'm going to do is I am going to make sure I'm on the right layer. So these are my different layers up here. I'm going to select my layer. Between these two layers, I can select these two images here. I'm going to make sure I select my layer mask. I'm going to say add mask to selection, which is those three little bubbles on the right here, like that. So I've reselected my figure. Then I'm going to go to that little, there's a little plus on the right hand side over here at the top of the list, and that's adding a new layer. Um, I don't have my, let me annotate here so you can see. Mm -hmm. uh, this guy right here, this is my adding a new layer right here. And then this is where I got that select from down here at the bottom. All right, so I added my new layer. I made sure that when I did my mask selection, I was using my layer mask here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my paintbrush over here. All right, this guy right here. And I'm going to use black. And I'm just going to paint this shadow. And again, this is sort of a rudimentary way of doing this, but I'm just going to paint in just like so. So I've got myself a shadow like that. Now, the problem with my shadow is this layer needs to go below my figure here, right, so that this works. So I'm going to take this guy here, and I just drag him right below like that. All right, give me a second to clear off my drawings here. There we go. <clears throat> All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use this guy down here, and I'm going to say deselect because I don't need to select anymore. I'm still going to make sure that this layer is my blue layer here, right? <clears throat> but now I'm going to use this tool here, and I'm going to transform that layer. So I'm going to drag it down, and I'm going to drag it through. And depending on where the light source is in your drawing, it'll tell you how long your shadow is. There's no right or wrong answer for this one. It really has to do with um, the angle of the light. Like at high noon, if the sun is above you, your shadow's right below you. If, the, if it's at the end of the day or the beginning of the day when the sun is on the horizon, the shadow's gonna be really long behind you. So I'm just gonna put this guy right below me just like this, and I'm gonna squeeze it so that it looks like the shadow is sort of underneath me like so. If I wanna rotate it a little bit, I can. I can move it around, but I'm just trying to attach it sort of to the bottom of my foot like that. Uh, the problem is there's just, it's like either there or not there. All right, then I hit done in the upper right-hand corner, and I've placed my shadow underneath. Now, the only problem with that shadow is that it just looks a little weird, and there's the tongue and everything there. So what I'm going to do is um, you, can put a, you can put a layer mask on this, and you can mask out the shadow. Uh, but I'm not even going to do that. I'm just going to go with the old eraser tool. And very rarely do you hear Mr. Horvath tell you to erase something because it's very permanent, but just because the shadow is sort of silly. Um, I'm just going to do the eraser here. So I'm going to click on my eraser. If the eraser is too big or small, remember this guy right here is your eraser size. right? So you want to make sure that your eraser is not too big. This guy down here is the hardness of your eraser. Uh, this guy right here. So I'm going to make my eraser pretty soft. I'm going to make it like uh, I don't know, 30% because I want it to be sort of fuzzy here. And then I'm just going to erase, make sure I'm in the right layer. I'm going to erase this shadow until it gets to the tongue right here. All right, and the shadow is going to sort of meet up at the foot right there. And then here the shadow is casting off the side of the tongue, so I'm going to get rid of that shadow there because the shadow should only be on the tongue like so. All right, so there I'm starting to put that shadow in there. And I don't know if I, if I like that shadow or not. I may have to fix it. Uh, and then the last thing I can do is if I want, I can again go to this. Uh, I'm sorry, not that button. It's this button up here. I can make that shadow so it's not so dark. So here I have this thing called opacity right here. That's how, how uh, opaque it is. So if I look at my shadow here and I turn down the opacity, See the way my shadow becomes more see-through? It becomes a little bit more realistic, like that. All right, now the only problem with my iPad is that in Photoshop on the computer, it's very easy to make the edges of this, um, this thing sort of fuzzy. But if I don't want my shadow to have such sharp edges, um, 
I can make this a little bit blurrier. I can try to go in with my eraser tool again. I can make this like 0% hardness and I can turn down the pressure of my eraser here. So maybe, I don't know, 20%, something like that. And I'm just sort of erasing the edges of my shadow a little bit. I don't know, that doesn't really look very good. But I'm just, you know, I'm like trying to make it blend a little bit more so it looks a little bit more shadowy. The other thing you can do is if you don't even want to mess with this, let's hide this shadow for a minute, let's make just an empty layer, is you could with your black paintbrush, as long as this layer is below, oh, that's too big. Let's make my brush smaller. Let's make my shadow here. Um, is it zero? Let's make that just a little bit harder. I think let's make it like 20%. And then I'm going to turn the hardness down. Oh, I don't want the hardness. Hardness is at 20. I want my opacity. Here we go. I'm going to turn the opacity down to like 50%. And I'm just going to paint a shadow underneath here too. All right, so if I think I just want my shadow to be a little bit more like that, I can certainly do that. My eraser here, let's erase that up here. Oh, why are you not erasing? Oh, because my eraser is way down here. There we go. There we go. I can also create a shadow that way, and I can make it a little bit lighter. That's another way to make a shadow. So you can certainly make a shadow that way. Also, if I click on my picture up here, so that's, that's your shadow, sort of make yourself in there. If I feel like my picture is a little too bright, let me clear all my drawings here. All right, if I feel like my picture is a little bit too bright, I can also make sure that I've clicked on the picture itself here. And I can use some adjustments in my adjustment tool. Oops. Uh, where are they? Sorry, my Photoshop here is, again, different than it is. No, that's not going to work. Oh, here I can add a clip adjustment. So see where it says clip adjustment? This is how the iPad's doing it. And then I can say um, from here, I would think that maybe hue and saturation is a good one. I'm going to desaturate my picture a little bit. I can also try to turn down um, the exposure or the levels here, which will also help adjust that a little bit. So let's see, if I just turn down the hue and saturation a little bit, I am going to turn down the saturation a little bit. And you can see what that does is it takes the color out a little bit so that I look like I fit in here. And then I'm going to add another. Can I only add one clip adjustment at a time? Oh, I got to be on the picture again. Here we go. Add another clip adjustment. And this one I'm going to go exposure. And then I'm going to turn that exposure down just a little bit. And just a little bit goes a long way. There we go. And then I can see up here, these adjustments are clipped to, they call it clipping mask. These little arrows here say that that adjustment's only happening to that little guy inside the picture here. And they're only affecting, they're clipped to this layer. So they're sort of all grouped together as three. So then I can do this other guy here. And I can move this over and I can say, add clip adjustment. I can say hue and saturation. I can turn down the saturation a little bit on this one too. So that it's similar. Go back here, say add clip adjustment. I'm going to go to uh, exposure again on this one. Turn that down. Adjust the gamma a little bit here. And the offset. I can see this artifacting here on my uh, layer mask here. Let's go to black. Let's go to paintbrush. Get rid of some of that. Uh, Brush opacity. Hardness of my brush. 
There we go. I'm just, I'm just cleaning up that layer mask here a little bit. All right, and then I can see here I'm going to want to move this guy down a little bit. He's not quite touching the tongue. Yet. And I can see this guy too here needs to be. I need to fix this layer mask here. So let's bring the white back. Oops. Bring it back. All right. So there you have it. So I'm adjusting those levels a little bit, trying to make that a little bit more realistic.